Hi, I'm uh, Mike Goli from Olds Denture Implant Center uh, in Olds, Alberta here. Um, you know, a lot of people come into our practices with, uh, with dentures that are ill-fitting, um, whether they're loose or they get sore spots or, you know, patients that are just getting into dentures, uh, their teeth come to a point in their life where they're at a crisis point and they have to be removed and they're, they're looking for removable solutions. So, years ago, patients would struggle with the fit. Upper dentures tend to fit fairly good because they can achieve a suction seal with the roof of the mouth and the denture stays stable. Lower dentures are always the hardest to fit for anybody. So a lot of solutions out there today. I talk a lot about implants. I'm passionate about it with all my patients. Uh, so I just want to kind of walk through some of the systems that we have available that are in the marketplace today. So, you know, basic systems um, that work well. Uh, one of them is called a mini implant technique. Um, we have a local dentist in town here, Dr. Jared Ord. Uh, he, does, uh, he does mini implants. He does a great job with them. So how many implants work? It's, it's a one-stage implant. Um, typically, it's placed in one, one series. The patient goes in, local freezing. Um, the implant is put right through the tissue into the bones. You can see kind of in the model here, it kind of gives us an idea of how the implants would look as they're placed into the bone. Once the implants are placed, you know, it takes about a week or so, let them heal, settle down. A lot of times the patient will come in, and what we see is in the mouth is, is these silver posts. So, you know, the advantage is it's quick, it's easy, cost effective. It's a little O-ring type system that attaches to the to the implant. Uh, so, just for an example, if we look at a, a traditional type of system, right? If it was mini implants inside the denture, it's similar to that. There'd be a little housing, and inside the housing, there'd be a little rubber O-ring that would attach to the O-ball that you see poking through the tissues. Now, with mini implants, it's always going to be traditionally a denture that anchors to the implants. So, there's kind of this belief system that does the implant support the denture. It doesn't. The, the dentures have to sit flush to the gums. The implants inside the denture or the attachments inside the denture are strictly there to hold the denture against the tissue. So if the patient's jaw is moving, the dentures are tracking the movement of the jaw. So that's a little about mini implants. One of the staple implant systems in the marketplace that most dentures use in today's market are called locators. It's an easy system. It's been around for several years. So when they first came out, we did a lot of cases for patients. The biggest complaint was the patient would come in and they say, Mike, when I open my mouth, the front of my denture lifts. And that's trickly because when you open wide, the tissues and everything, the muscles all contract. So we would look at two implants. So if you see in here, this is, a, this is what's called a locator implant. The implant is placed into the bone. So if you look at a model like this, you can see how the implant is placed in the bone. So the little gold cap, you would see just the implant like that to start with. The implant gets placed. Typically, it's a little surgery, a little incision in the tissue. The surgeon placed the implant into the bone. It takes about three to four months of healing at that point. After the implants are healed, we would have a little silver cap put on the top. The patient would come and see us. We can remove the cap. And we would take a measurement from the base of the implant to the top of the tissue, and then we want these little gold abutments that you see about two millimeters above that. These are called locator abutments. The advantage to locator abutments is that you can take it off and you can put it on. So if there's a wear or something happens, they're interchangeable parts. Okay, so that's the advantage of locators. So when we talk just briefly about the two implants, the idea was simple. Put two implants in the front, inside the denture, we use a little silver housing called a, it's just a housing system. There's inserts inside that housing. So there's different colors as we saw from this other model. There's blue ones, there can be clear ones, there's pink ones, there's several different types. Each type of housing or colored cap in there represents a different retention. So when, you, so when we had two in the front, we had two implants in, we had to design the denture, they would snap in. Now the only disadvantage to that was we would still get a little bit of a rock in the posterior of the denture. So as you put implants into the mouth and a patient wears dentures, they tend to challenge the function so they want to eat harder. So we would have to stabilize it. So now the traditional staple system in the marketplace would typically be four implants, cross-sectional support, we have attachments inside the denture, they snap in, away we go. A Little bit about maintenance on that, the only maintenance with these systems is about every six months the patient would come back, these nylon inserts eventually are gonna wear, so then the fit does get a little bit loose. We would quickly change them out. I've even gone as far as ordering these snaps in, showing the patient how to do it at home, and they can replace them at home, fairly cost effective. There's been a little bit of talk out there in the near in the last you know five years or so about splinting, attaching implants for support. Sometimes when we see individual posts or individual implants, over long-term use, the patient will develop a, a stronger side of function, a dominant side of function in the mouth. That can then 
overall sometimes see some wear on the implant. So the well-being of an implant really is for supplied. If you push directly down on an implant, that's perfect. If there's a push or a pull on an implant, we can tend to see bone loss and possible failures down the road for future. So to try to, try to attack that, my belief was splinting. So what, we, what I like to do now, we're going to do a denture that's going to snap in and take out every day so they can clean them, called you know, fixed removable, right? Is the implants are the same. Implants get placed, we go through a healing process. After the implants are healed, instead of putting gold attachments on, we take an impression and we get a milled bar. So the bar is then attached to all the implants. We attach it with screws. It ties the implants together with equal loaded pressure so that the implants are all supported inside the denture it's still a type of a little snap housing these are yellow ones it's the same concept different colors different retention they anchor to the bar so that works we're maintaining the integrity of the implant that's important for people patients to understand if you have an implant maintain the integrity we want to support it take care of it long lasting from there um, you know a lot of patients newer patients that are getting into dentures in today's market have found natural teeth they had natural teeth for years or they've had crown and bridge work done for several years and now they have to move into a restorative appliance. Some of those patients don't want to wear it natural. They want something more like a permanent, permanent solution like natural teeth. I believe in a system, I've been doing them now for several years. Um, it's called an all on four technique or fixed removable or non-fixed removable. There's all sorts of names for it. But typically we can do a case now where a patient has natural teeth like myself, I could take impressions of my jaw, I could make a denture to start with. In one day, we can remove your teeth, the surgeon will level the bone down, we place implants, and then I have a denture pre-made that we convert, so you come in looking like a full denture, but we, you end up leaving in one day, we can have the bridge screwed in, and you leave with a fully screwed fixed bridge. So these are screwed directly to the implants, they don't come out, you leave them in full time. Once a year, the patient would come in, we would remove the bridge, hygiene it and clean it and we would put it back down. We would set up an appointment for the dent for the patient to see a dentist for cleaning and hygiene of the implants. We hygiene the bridge, we attach it back in and away they go for another year. Sometimes depending on the patient and cleanliness and then some people get that you know more plaque than others so we might have to do it every six months. But you know traditionally you know there's there's several systems. I mean the, we have to understand that every patient needs something different. Our job as a dentist is to satisfy every patient's needs work with them to develop what solution they're comfortable with, cost effectiveness comes into place, and then we provide a treatment plan that includes all of those services all in one. Thanks for listening to me today. I'm Mike Goliath from Old Denture and Blood Center.